the fall harvest days in western North Carolina. <clears throat> it's an old tractor and engine show, a lot of hit and miss engines. It also has 250 dealers selling stuff. And I always like stuff. Well, this is one of the things that they had there that I decided to buy. Not an old motor, not an old hit and miss, but we'll just see how this thing runs. <clears throat> you can tell the box has got a lot of taping on it, so it was used and it's old. We'll have to see how it works. Well, the box <clears throat> might look sort of old and funky, but everything inside almost looks brand new. In fact, over the engine, there's still a plastic piece that covers it. This nice 4 4 4 2 engine. It's got loose. I don't know, it's got a little bridge that came with it. I don't know if that's ever been out. The manuals are still there. We've got an advertising sign. And let's see. Underneath. We got that, I think they call that fast track. Which just snaps together. And inside this. This we have one handedly opening the box. Nice transformer to run this puppy. Notice that. Be careful with glass. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is save our fall festival by of the year for Christmas. Now this is like I said, here's what it's ready to run. All gauge, die cast engine, cold tender, vintage box car, blah blah blah. Short extension tree, two sided billboard, bottle of smoke fluid. I didn't see the bottle of smoke fluid. I guess that has lost its way over the years. But, no problem. We'll figure it out and we'll get her running. You never can tell what you find when people are selling junk. Well, the good news is, it runs. And, I don't know if we can see it on here. It's going to rise so fast. But it is smoking. In theory, the more, the faster it goes, the better it will smoke because you have higher voltage and that heats up the little element in there. So it looks like it was a good, a good buy. And I think I push this that puts it into stop. And that puts it in reverse. Stop. Forward. I hope. Yep. There's a button on here for bell. And you push it, nothing happens. I don't know if there was a bell on this thing or not. We'll look into that. There's two switches on here. I know one was for smoke, and I thought one was for sound, but that's the one thing that wasn't with this was the, uh, the write up. I'll check the box again. It looks nice.
Now if I ever get my track set up for old gauge in my outdoor railroad, we'll run this outside sometime. Well, I checked the box, and the box just says it puffs smoke. So I'm going to assume there's no bell on this engine. So the bell button for this engine does nothing. Uh, what I also notice, the box says it's a 242, but it's a 442. So somewhere between here and China, things got screwed up. So I took the train off the track, obviously, and I decided to try another one. This is more has a more modern sound to it. I'm not super happy with it, but I can get it to figure out which way it's going. For some reason, it's stalled. Well, I'm going to have to go over there and push that thing. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You can tell the smoke works. Let me do this. Okay. So what that says is the little button on the transform to change directions doesn't work as good as, as physically stopping the train. Okay, if I push push this button to change direction, it doesn't work too well. But what we do have with this And also, oh, well, the tugging noise, the bell is going. Turn the bell off. <clears throat> I bought the Hudson engine, because everybody says, out of all the Lionel engines made, the Hudson was supposed to be one of the prettiest. Now he's going to press a little piece of equipment. Let me get back down to my lower position here. I got a feeling some of my track isn't the cleanest track in the world. Because most of it's been in a box for who long knows how long. I did add some sections of track that was not in the box I got. I thought this might be interesting for you to see. This is a Hudson engine. And this is a little engine. that came with the box set. There's a pretty good size difference. Uh, but they both work. So I'm a happy camper.
Well, I tried running the big Chicago Alton trains with this little transformer that came with one of the starter kits. <clears throat> and then it, the Hudson engine could pull two cars, and that was about it. So, we reverted back an oldie but goodie. It's one of the old Type V's, or Type 5's, whatever you want. And now, let me turn off this light to make it more Christmassy. I can run the full Hudson with maybe some power. This is a Chicago Alton. Full set of cars. We'll come back and throw these cars in the daylight. So when you got a big enough pants on, the train really runs. I think there was only five different types of Chicago Alton cars. And that's what we're running right now.